Namaste, welcome, welcome, selamat datang, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and a warm welcome to all the global educators, ambassadors from India, Indonesia, UAE, Poland, North Macedonia, and educators tuning in from other parts of the globe. I'm educator Nirmala from Malaysia. I'm fortunate to be the moderator of the fourth session. Thank you so much to all of you for tuning in for the next seventh hour of our session. Time flies so fast. Let me welcome Mr. Pramod Tube, the director founder of Life Skills Studio, Human Happiness 2021 project. A cordial welcome to our guest of honor, Ms. Sonia Handelan de la Fosse, Senior Manager, Educator Programs, Microsoft. It is indeed a pleasure to have our guest of honor to be with us as early as five o'clock in the morning from the US. We would like to wish you to have a speedy recovery from your surgery. So much of appreciation from us attending today's Human Happiness, uh, Happiness Hours 2021. What a time we facilitators and ambassadors have been having over the past three months. Challenging time zones, beating borders, making global connections, and all that under the leadership and guidance of a very young, dynamic leader, Mr. Pramod Tube, the director founder of Life Skills Studio. He has helped us all to literally redefine happiness, making this journey so meaningful. In the current situation, it has become very difficult for everyone, especially children, to maintain connections and involvement. But social connections should be our top priority as this boosts our mental and physical health, not only for students, for educators as well, as what had been mentioned by Brusha Mem just now. Our happiness is connected to the happiness of all those who are connected to us and also that we are spreading to others. As a member of society, each one of us are connected to many. Happiness is contagious, as what my friend Swadi Mem used to say. We are spreading happiness and contagious each other, actually. Making others happy will make us happier more. To ensure this, some activities are planned which will give students a fair chance to reflect on their social involvement. We have been dealing with, this, with the numerous activities in three phases of this project. This project came at the right time during pandemic where students were facing social emotional problems and we educators managed to help the students to discover personal happiness, collective happiness, working towards SDGs, human in action, appreciating mothers, calculating ecological footprints, spreading acts of kindness, and also most importantly, we uh, managed to bring the humanness in all the children that we are educating. Without further ado, let me welcome the presenters to get ready. Uh, please be courteous about the time limit. Uh, try to stop at the ninth minute and try to sum up everything by the 10th minute, nine to 10 minutes, all right? Okay, the first presenter, not other than um, teacher Gartatik Suhakar from Indonesia. Welcome teacher Gartatik to present your presentation. Could I request all the participants to please mute your microphones? Excuse me, can I start now? Yes, you can start now, Jago. Okay, good evening, uh, F all educators and uh, honorable guests, Mr. Uh, thank you to Mr. Pramod Tube, the director of Life Skills Studio. Thank you to Ms. Nirmala Devi as a moderator in this session. Uh, and all the human happiness facilitators and ambassadors. I'm so sorry that I cannot change my background. I have tried so many times, but I failed. Uh, I don't know where to click. Uh, I'm Gertati from Indonesia. I am a teacher at 
Sekolah Menengah Pertama 2 Blora. This is my school. It is located in a small town in central Java. And oh, excuse me, we... Chegu, your screen is not moving. Oh, no, we are only see. seeing the first slide. Oh, I see. Is it okay now? Uh, no. You share screen again? Uh, so, okay. Share Stop screen sharing, again. share screen again. Okay. Is it okay now? Yes, it's okay now. Okay. These are our human happiness ambassadors who really struggle hard in doing this project because we, uh, our schools were closed. So we just start the school opening two weeks ago, but only uh, 40, uh, sorry, 50 percent every day. Well, okay. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, project over to us. And we had great experience in joining this great project with wonderful educators from all over the world. And in our school, during all the phases that we had, the activities that my students and I did at school is the first is helping other students make presentation using Sway because it is since um, last March 2020, the schools were closed. And this is the seventh grade that I am teaching at. So they never went to school. So there is nothing to do except we had online class. I mean that it is a distance learning. And using Sway, using Sway is something great uh, to present the students' work. So that's why, first of all, I ask my students to uh, use Teams and Microsoft Office 365. After that, I ask all the students to join in my webinar. But it is not that easy because uh, we only had meeting online. So our all human happiness ambassadors try to help me to help our other students to get ready using Sway in their presentation. So starting from that and then the human happiness ambassadors try to help their classmates, their peers. And in that weeks also, we invited students to come to school because it is not easy to invite them. The parents didn't allow students to go to school even only three hours in one day. So cleaning the school environment was one of the activities during the Human Happiness Project. And then we also have having presentation together with educators and students from other countries in Global Pulse. So thanks to Ms. Nirmala Devi, Ms. Nor Lizawati, Ms. Dumiati, and other educators in Malaysia. And because the most thing that make our students have barrier is our language, English, and they started studying English only about seven or eight months. So it is very difficult for us to cope with the language. So that's why it, it is a very big struggle for us to communicate with other educators from uh, other countries. And then uh, the next on the next phase is a sprendic origami making to classmates and other students. I myself, because I also teach class, uh, I'm in grade nine, I spread this happiness with my students in grade nine, while my students in grade seven, they were, they were spreading the, the happiness with their 
classmates when they met uh, offline. I mean, when the school started opening uh, two weeks ago. And here are some activities that my students did. We also had a meeting via Microsoft Teams with other students from other school in our area because not many people uh, know this kind of project. I mean, only our school did this project. So we actually try to invite other students, schools to have a kind of uh, this activity. But because their teachers don't know what kind of project it is, and then I don't have any time to share with them yet. So uh, I just facilitate the students from uh, a certain schools uh, near my my area. And the most thing that uh, make them happy is making origami in the origami class. And until today, they still write down and their kind of diary in their heart at home. So uh, this is the one that the impacts during our human happiness project. So human happiness ambassadors uh, share the origami, origami with their classmates and other students from different students. And then they continue writing their activities, make other happy on their hearts. And they happy to have met other inspiring students from different countries. They uh, even wrote to me that actually it is a great experience for them. They can meet the students who they never expect that they are uh, inspired. And their English become much better. They now, uh, what we say, are uh, more uh, motivated by by having this project. They sometimes uh, message me and then they they came to school to meet me uh, to, for example, to consult how to use Wakelet and then how to use Microsoft Translator. And uh, something new again is about um, other, uh, what we say, technology that we never use because we only use a Flipgrid and uh, other Microsoft Office 365, we never use Wicklet. So they were so happy. So uh, that's all that I can share with you. Actually, there are so many uh, uh, expressions from them. They were very happy and thanks very much. A big thing, very big thing to Mr. Pramod Tube who has already given us opportunity to join in this project. And uh, thank you to all educators from all over the world who have already taught me how to be happy, how to spread happiness, and how to uh, utilize the technology. Thank you. Thank you so much, Teacher Gartati, for the great sharing. And uh, indeed, a great pleasure to know that you are actually spreading happiness among your community, among your students, and keep spreading, even though today is the last day of, the, it is the closing ceremony, but then we really expect you to spread more happiness continuously. Thank you so much, Madam Gartati. Okay. Now, I would like to, uh, can you stop sharing, Chiku? Yes. All right, thank you so much. Okay, now I would like to welcome our guest of honor, Ms. Sonia Handelen de la Fosse, Senior Manager Educator Programs, Microsoft. It is indeed a pleasure to have you as our guest of honor to be with us as early as five o'clock, if not mistaken, from the US. <laughs> we would like to wish you have a speedy recovery from your surgery, and it is a great pleasure to have you around with us, Ms. Sonia. Thank you so much for being around with us. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. And it's funny that, um, so yeah, I went in for surgery three weeks ago, um, which I, which was a planned surgery and, um, it was pretty intense. And so I've been slowly recovering, but one of the things I did was I decided I would make my hair purple so that when, um, I wasn't feeling very good and I was in pain, I could look in the mirror and my hair would put a smile on my face. And it's true. Like, I think my positive attitude has definitely, Help me. I'm three weeks post-surgery and I'm feeling really good right now. So I think that's just, um, I think finding ways to put smiles on your face and to stay happy, no matter what's going on in your life is a beautiful thing. Um, 
I do have a few words I wanted to share with you and I'm going to go through this really fast. I just realized too, um, I am beyond proud of all of the work that each of you do every day. Each of you work so hard to connect with your students, to give them a future that's going to be amazing, to find, and I love the theme of finding happiness because no matter where you are in your life, no matter what you're doing, there's something to be happy about. Um, if you have, if you can put food in your mouth and you have friends and family, um, I just think that's amazing. And, and everywhere I travel around the world, I've traveled, I think I counted 36 different countries I've been to. Uh, no matter where I am, I find happiness. And I think that's amazing. So I'm gonna just really quickly share my screen. Um, We go share. So hopefully you can see this. Oops. Um, and I'm just going to talk, and this should say 2021 now. Um, I actually put this together last at the end of last year, just for something. And along with happiness, I think is the concept of resiliency. When things aren't going well, how do you bounce back from that? How do you bounce back from when, like, okay, for me, example, like January, I fell down the stairs. March, I had shingles, which is extremely painful. It's like resurfacing of the chicken pox. And so the whole month of March, I was in a vast amount of pain. And then I went right into my surgery for April. And the last thing is now I have like bursitis in my elbow. <laughs> so I feel like 2021 has just been giving me all kinds of things. And how do I stay resilient? And how do I stay um, positive in all of this? And that's something that's really important for you as teachers to teach your students. So resilience is that ability to cope with negative life events because all of us face them uh, and to persist in the face of ad adversity. So when a person believes they are worthy and capable of overcoming challenges, they become resilient. So are you helping your students become worthy, feeling like they're worthy and capable of overcoming ch challenges? Are they like looking at a challenge and just going, I can't and giving up immediately? So uh, I like this quote here, which is about resilience is all about being able to overcome the unexpected. Um, the goal of resilience is to thrive, not just to live, but to thrive. And so I'm just gonna quickly share five ways that you can promote mental health and resilience in your students. And lots of you are already doing these, I can tell. I see the work you do. And the first one is to build a positive relationship. If you don't have a positive relationship with your students, they're not gonna learn from you. Um, they have to feel that you care about them, that you care about their lives. And so um, it's, and it, they're direct, it's directly related to student achievement. A positive relationship with a caring adult can change their trajectory for even the most at-risk students. So you as a teacher are sometimes the only, only positive adult influence in their lives. And so therefore, that's why it's important to get to know the kids and care about them. Um, because a lot of times you don't realize that you are their positive influence. Um, next is teaching social and emotional skills, which all of you are doing. And there's research that shows when a whole school approaches integrating social emotional skills into the classroom regularly, that directly impacts, again, student achievement versus two schools that do exactly the same, teach the same curriculum. One school incorporates SEL, the other one doesn't. This school's students are going to do better. So I thought that was pretty um, Amazing, and that includes helping students improve peer relationships so that they're being self-aware and they're managing themselves and they're building relationship skills. And for um, me, that is where like collaborative work comes in handy in the 21 CLD curriculum that we have on our Microsoft Educator Center. So are you having the kids when they do collaborative work make substantive decisions together? Are they, um, just making decisions on what the end product will look like or how they're going to get there or are you guidelining out everything so when students have to make tough decisions with other students that helps them build those peer relationships um the third one is fostering positive emotions and this is what you guys have all been doing build a sense of pride oh there's a weird something over the top of this it's so strange um there we go um, 
So sense of pride, connectedness, and a positive learning environment. I'm gonna zoom through this. And so modeling respectful behavior is so critical. When I was, I was in education for 21 years before coming to Microsoft six years ago. And when I was a teacher for 12 of those, I would tell my students, I respect you, so I expect you to respect me. And that kind of way of telling them really helped them be more respectful. And, and when they would do something that was less respectful, I would say, I'm just gonna remind you again, what you're doing right now is not very respectful to me or your classmates. So I'm treating you with respect, I expect the same. And then to even model like how you power through struggles. So um, this is a list and at the end of the slide, I have, I'll put it in the chat to um, the link so you guys can take these slides and share them as much as you want. And then I also believe love your students unconditionally. As a teacher, I, this sounds, some people think I'm crazy for saying this, but you have to love your students, especially the ones that make it hard to love. Um, and so that means ask them questions. When a student makes a poor decision, instead of shaming them, ask them, are you feeling all right? Is something bothering you? Because usually when students act out, it's because something else is going on in their life. Um, and then lastly, this is something I live by. Respect is something you choose to give. It is not based on achievement. It is not based on a personality. Respect is given because you value people inherently. So someone can be a terrible, mean person. I'm going to treat them respectfully regardless of how they're treating me because they are a human. And I think if everybody did that, we wouldn't have any problems in the world. Um, and so I just want to to share that. Um, the next one is to identify student strengths, figure out what the student strengths are, um, what they're, and proactively build on what they're doing well. Um, so I'm not going to read through this. And the fifth one is build a sense of meaning and purpose. And so at Microsoft, we partnered with We, which has, if you did our Tech for Good challenge, that was from We. And it's about pr providing opportunities for students to contribute to others. And I just heard Garta Tick talk about how her students work with other students. And I think that's amazing. Um, and it could be the students giving back to the community in some way, students teaching other students, students doing something for adults. Uh, but that's really important. So these are kind of the five key things that will help you build happy, healthy, amazing future adults. Um, and lastly, I'm going to say this already, I just said it once, but love your students unconditionally. Be their safe harbor and model resilience every day. So I'm going to put in the chat, I'll put it back on the first slide here so you can see. Down here, it's aka.ms slash teaching SEL, and you can have this deck so that you can share it with your colleagues or you can think about it or pull quotes. And the last slide is all the research that I did when I was putting this deck together a few months ago. So I just wanna thank you all so much for the work you've been doing, the work you continue to do. This has been the hardest year ever to be a teacher and most of the world doesn't realize, I think how hard it has been to be a teacher this year. So I just wanna personally thank each and every one of you for what you're doing to make this world a better place. And the fact that you're doing it collaboratively across multiple countries, that's my favorite part of my job is teachers working together and teaming up to make the world a better place. So go out, keep doing the amazing things you're doing. Thank you for everything you're done. And you, I feel like all of you are kind of my students and I love you unconditionally. So enjoy the rest of the session and I'm gonna sit on and watch a few more and I look forward to connecting with you all in the future. Thanks. Thank you so much, Ms. Sonia, for highlighting social emotional skills, resilience, improving peer relationship, collaborative elements, which comes in 2121 CLD, being respectful to, respectful to each other. Most importantly, in your message, we can understand that as educators, we need to love our students unconditionally and respect each other as a human being. Not for anything else, but as a human being, we need to give respect. 
Thank you so much for your beautiful words and definitely it is an eye opener for all of us. And throughout this uh, next one hour, you're going to see the happiness moments, happiness journey that all of us have created under this one young dynamic educator, Mr. Pramod Tube. So let us welcome the next presenter to, uh, to present. So, uh, so you will enjoy the journey of happiness together with all of us where uh, the students and uh, educators have engaged in many activities uh, related to SDGs, related to uh, knowing the ambassadors, happiest moment of the day, di uh, writing the diaries, sound mind in sound body, which is related to exercises and eating healthy food, happiness spells, traveling virtually, something like uh, traveling in Skype in the classroom, my mother in action, out of school children, Minecraft world, kindness work, happiness hearts, where they have done origamis, and then calculating our ecological footprints related to saving the Mother Earth. And uh, let us welcome the next presenter. Thank you so much. Okay, so the next presenter will be um, Taruna Kapoor ma'am from India. Please welcome Taruna Kapoor ma'am. Oh, good evening, uh, happy morning, happy evening, happy afternoon to all my dear friends, you know, it is a pleasure to be here and it is, for me, it is not a journey which is uh, going to end, it is just the beginning of uh, uh, the happiness program. Thank you, Ms. Sonja from uh, US, that you are here with us and I'm so fortunate that uh, uh, you are witnessing my presentation, though I'm uh, immature, but still uh, trying to learn and unlearn with Ramoji and the other educators. Uh, thank you, Pramodji, and we are there together, everywhere, wherever you will say, we will be there and we'll be working for all these SDG goals. So over to my presentation. Uh, just, just a moment, could I please request all the participants to mute their microphones, please? There is a commotion. Okay, thank you. For me, your happiness is number one priority in your life. Be mindful of what gives you genuine happiness and remove what doesn't. Wait, wait, this is not the presentation. Wait. Just give me a second, sir. Okay, Taruna, ma'am. Uh, I think I have pasted a wrong link in that. So just a second, huh? All right, sure. So happiness is the best makeup, which everyone should do. And I am from India. My the school, the name of my school is Ramadhya School Dadri. And uh, thank you to Pramoji, our mentor and inspiration to design a wonderful uh, life skills program, which we have taken uh, with our children. As a facilitator, I loved each and every activity phase of the program. I really, I'm really inspired to see my young Ramadians in our future ready now, and they will take this journey forth, you know, and uh, build a beautiful and uh, happy nation and happy world. They are happy and will keep making the world a happier place to live in. So uh, these are my happiness ambassadors who have uh, actually done this journey and they're all my Ramadians, whatever I've said and done, they are technology savvy, they have worked on Sway, they work on uh, Padlet, they work on uh, Flipgrid, they work on Bakelit, whatever you tell them, though they are from a rural background, but they are trying to learn. Energetic. So the key to happier living. Uh, for me, do things to others, connect with people, take care of your body, live life mindfully, keep learning new things, and have goals to look forward to. Find ways to bounce back, look for what's good. Be comfortable and make others also comfortable. Keep smiling, that is the antidote and the medicine for uh, happiness. 
these are a few quotes though i will not read all but i really found them uh, really relevant uh, to re- happiness and that is why i it took them happiness is when you think what you say what you do are in harmony there is only one happiness in this life to love and to be loved be happy for this moment this moment is your life happiness lies in the joy of achievement and the thrill of creating effort be kind whenever possible whatever possible it is always possible for all of us adopt the face of nature her secret is patience spread love everywhere you go let no one ever come to you without leaving happier resolve to keep happy and your joy and you shall form an invincible host against difficulties the present moment is filled with joy and happiness and if you are attentive and you will see it action may not always bring happiness but there is no happiness without action so we did this action with uh, promoji's program which was well designed and we traveled miles and miles across the world and learned a lot from the other educators beat it culture beat it food whatever topic and we had discussed and we had collaborated we spread happiness and smiles to the world thank you vini ma'am for the sharing of your mangoes what you get in uh, taiwan let's learn from uh, learn from where mango comes from so all these pictures are from the uh, uh, collaborations we have been doing uh, throughout this journey what a way of learning and sharing happiness is contagious so we all mentors you can see nirmala ji swati ji and all we had collaborated together and um, uh, sumaya we all collaborated and learned and unlearned from each other so it is a journey together which will never end because we have made wonderful friends and wonderful uh, miles we have traveled with each other these are a few collaborations on uh, with different countries like mexico uh, macedonia valta and all we had done a lovely program on yoga let's keep fit by doing yoga and meditation the friends from mexico my children made videos and the uh, pictures they took pictures of asanas and we trained them online uh, so these were a few asanas and uh, teacher from uh, veronica from uh, macedonia her children wrote letters and they made beautiful cards for me uh, for the school so we did share culture with india and macedonia these are the glimpses of those pictures food dances places to visit of different countries and you can see the smiles on the children the faces of the children then not the least we we had a kahoot on easter with nadaza ma'am and she <laughs> did a wonderful job she certified the children she played quiz on easter as well as on the earth day and these are a few memorable moments which can never be forgotten but uh, uh, they are to be cherished thank you cards from mexico spreading smile and happiness and uh, these are the cards which uh, the teacher from mexico she had sent her children made these cards which are to be treasured and i will uh, i'm really really that they really liked our yoga session and they enjoyed and they learned do what you love love what you do never place your happiness in someone else's hands because if they walk away so does your happiness the key to happiness is letting each situation be what it is instead of what you think it should be don't rely on someone else for your happiness and self worth only you can be responsible for it you have to invest in yourself or no one else will thank you all that is all i wanted to share with you all and there is one more quote that i want to share the secret to be happy life is not to spend moments with the best people but to make best moments with the people around you and for me the people around the facilitators the ambassadors we have you know uh, uh, we have made friends in this lovely journey are to be treasured and they will they will be going throughout our life thank you promoji for you know initiating this program and uh, giving us such a such a platform where we can share and care for each other spreading love and happiness in smiles thank you all of you
Thank you so much, Taruna Ma'am, for the wonderful Sway presentation. You have covered so many aspects in human happiness. And Taruna Ma'am is a very active educator and she travels everywhere around the globe. Doesn't matter in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, everywhere we can see Taruna Ma'am and her students. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wherever, wherever learning is there, <laughs> we should not leave it, you know. We yes. should not leave any learning, He's any good yes. thing. I yes, think even yesterday too. up to 12.30 midnight Malaysia time, I saw you travel You travel to USA and Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank Dana. you so much. Welcome. Okay, next presenter will be Mr. Rahim Mubarak Muhammad from Malaysia. Please welcome Mr. Rahim. Hello everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, hi, namaste, ni hao. <laughs> All right, I'm getting very excited actually to present in front of everyone here today, especially, especially in front of our guest of honor, uh, Madam Sonia. We usually uh, seen her in uh, other platform and other events, but uh, I feel very lucky today to have to have going to be presenting in front of her and also to Mr. in front of Mr. Pramod and Madam Nirmala. Thank you, everyone. And uh, firstly, I would like to say thank you very much to Mr. Pramod for working very hard to make this uh, human happiness program as, uh, as successfully as we can see it today that we are at the end of the program. All right. So, yeah, my name is Rahim Mubarak bin Muhammad. I'm a teacher, an English language teacher in SMK Kohara Tawau, Sabah, Malaysia. Firstly, I would like to talk about my school. My school, SMK Kohara Tawau, is a common secondary school for kids age 13 to 17. We have about uh, 2,000 students in our school, which uh, make us uh, the biggest, the most, uh, sorry, the school with the most students in our district. All right. And so with this, a lot of um, students, actually, we had a lot of potential talents. My school is one of the best school in our district for secondary school and had won numerous of awards in various fields. Now let's talk about my team, my human happiness teams. I think, as you can see in, in this picture, I think we are the only team with two facilitators when actually you, uh, well, other team usually you have only one facilitator. Why we have two facilitators? At first, it was only me, but then I invited my co-facilitator, Madam Fazila Yatim, which who also um, teaching in the same school with me in SMK Kohara Tawau. And she get really excited when she joined the E2 uh, program. And she really very enthusiastic to get engaged in this program when I talk about this program with her. So I invited her and become uh, the co-facilitator in our team, which she really becoming uh, handy to our team, really helpful and always um, very resor resourceful in helping our ambassadors. So our team also consists of seven wonderful girls ambassadors. Why seven? I think seven has always been a lucky number for me because these seven girls are carefully selected actually out of that 2,000. Out of that 2,000, why only seven? All right, and one of the reason is I love number seven. And another reason is because this is the number that I think that I can help and I can handle. And also these seven girls are carefully selected 
to join this course by their incredible skills and potential to excel. Why did I join Human Happiness? All right, the first thing, the reason why I joined Human Happiness is because I want to give opportunities to my ambassadors to join a cultural experience, educational, informational, and also emotional exchange program. Because we sell after the MGLC, we, we are searching for another program to, con to have this kind of chance to share to the opportunities to our students to join. So when uh, Mr. Pramod promote this uh, human happiness program and when Madam Nirmalaji came to me and asked me, hey, why don't we join this program with Mr. Pramod? I said, okay, I'm going to uh, straight going to register in this program and I I have no regrets in joining because throughout this journey is re coming really wonderful all right and also I joined this human happiness program to boost my ambassador's confidence and speaking skills through presentations and flip grid tasks and lastly, why did we join this humane happiness? Because uh, I would like to expose not only my ambassadors, but also myself and my co-facilitator, Madam Fazilah Yatim, to international exchange program as well as to other countries in the world. And in fact, through this program, I fell in love to Armenia when we have a session, a global fall meeting with Armenia, with uh, Madam Alice from Armenia and her lovely um, ambassadors. Now I would like to share the impact of this program to me and also uh, my team. As you can see here, these are actually screenshots. These are screenshots of a text from me and my students. All right. And other than flip grid tasks, I also asked my ambassadors to write a review and give it and send it to me. Uh, and send it to me. All right. So you can see their reviews here. I am the type of educator who always driven by the principle of learning by doing. And also a very, uh, I also uh, driven by the principle of constructivism. So assigning tasks to my students and then facilitating them and getting a brilliant feedback from them always motivate me, as you can see it in this uh, presentation here. And I always tell my students and myself too, you would not know what you are capable of doing until someone asks you to do it. And also in this slide, you can see a poster, a poster there, Earth Day, where these uh, seven wonderful ambassadors plus two uh, facilitators had become the leader, the main idea who actually come out with a idea to have a program called Earth Day for our school, which from these seven ambassadors plus two facilitators have impacted the 2,000, the other 2,000 students in our school to get engaged in the Earth Day with, by using Flipgrid videos. And I would really love to thank Madam Fazila Yatim, who really got very excited in using Flipgrid and really promoting using Flipgrid towards our students in the school. So with all of this, I am very happy with my team and everything we had gained from human happiness. Thank you again to Mr. Pramod to be the founder and director of Life Skills Studio uh, India, to Madam Nirmala, to Mr. Ruben, to Mr. Swatiji, 
and also to um, our guest of honor today, Madam Sonia. You have been very uh, inspiring as always. You, I I cannot say anymore. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Hope to meet you again, every one of you, and to collaborate more with you and to learn more from you in the future. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Thank you so much, Teacher Rahim from Malaysia. We are very happy to hear your happiness journey with your co-teacher, Teacher Fazila, and your students. And keep spreading happiness. And uh, I like the way you, uh, you are engaging your students. And I know you're very active in our district, engaging other students and teachers as well. Thank you so much, Teacher Rahim. OK, now let me welcome students of DLF Public School, Ghaziabad from India. Let us welcome the students to do their presentation. Students, yes. are you... Okay. Is my screen visible? Yes. Let me just start. Greetings, everyone. It is a pleasure to meet you all here. Today, we all are here to present about our human happiness journey. See all other fights from deal of public school. A thinking school with a soul because the world needs more innovators. Mrs. Gunjan Gupta, she is a happiness facilitator. Myself, Ashir Garwal. My friend, Andri Garodia. Prasid Dija. And Vabhavi Tripathi. Humane Happiness, an international collaborative project, is an organization to help us in skills for life. This also helps us move on the path of positive thinking. We are also taught about SDG goals to help us in understanding why are the goals mandatory and what should we do to contribute. We would like to thank Humane Happiness for giving us this chance. Now I would like to call upon my friends Anvi and Prasiddhi to take this presentation further. Thank you. Activities carried out. Kindness Week. We added pictures in that lake to show how we help and how we care. And what I did was I always feed the stray dogs in my colony at night with some delish dog foods which they love. Origami session. We made a heart filled with happiness and a good beat. Like I helped my mom in doing too. We carried out a survey on women in action and out of school children. We celebrated Women's Day through mm -hmm. activity Mother in Action. Peace today, Happiness Friends Global Connection. Andy, what was your favorite activity? Mm -hmm. I'm quite sure the activity which I liked most was Easter Day because it was so fun and enjoyable and mine. Oh, we had the story session. But what is your favorite activity, Prasiddhi? All I can really say, my most favorite activity was the survey on women in action in out of school children. I was so mesmerized to see all the beautiful presentations. Good choice. Moving on. The activity which had the most impact was the survey. As we all researched, we got to know a lot of things which we never did know about in general. And as we researched, it also caused awareness. The most enjoyed activity 
was to make an origami heart. Origami heart filled uh, what we have in our heart. Love the concept of that activity. These all are our happy hearts. Now I would like um, to invite my friend Pebbly to take this presentation ahead. Comes an impact of our human happiness journey. We want to always search for a positive outlook, even in very challenging times. The best example I can give you right now is COVID-19. As you know how hard it is to cope up. Even talking about it is. But good thing we are optimistic, all because of positive thinking. We learn to have compassion, insight, empathy, and generosity towards others, and to be humane to others. Not only does it make you feel good, but a simple, mini, even the smallest act of kindness can have a ripple effect. Your good deed flows into the receiver's stream of consciousness, and they too can look for opportunities to pass them on. Kindness has helped us boost our self-esteem, increase awareness, become more considerate and sympathetic, and improve our mood too, as we made others feel good by our behavior. Overall, being kind and generous gives you the best feeling. Just see for yourself. When you help, the person feels good and appreciates you, right? It makes us happy, others happy, and what more do we want? Prasiddhi, kindly continue. Now, in the end, we would like to special thanks to Mr. Pramod Thubi sir for organizing such an amazing event, which was very impactful and amazing. And our facilitator, Mrs. Kunjan Gupta, she is a determined teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you liked our presentation. Thank you so much, children, uh, students from L DLP Public School, Ghaziabad, India. The presentation was so wonderful, really impressive, and you all managed to spread happiness, spread kindness, and the origami session was superb. You made lovely creations of origami, and then we can see that you have learned all the life skills that your teachers have uh, actually taught you through this human happiness project. Well done, children. It's amazing, amazing presentation. Well done. Next, Thank you, Mark. We are welcome. Welcome, children. Now, I would like to welcome uh, Miss Aisha Umer from UAE. Please welcome Miss Aisha. Miss Aisha, are you here? Nirmala, ma'am, if she's not there, we can move on to the All next. Right, sure. I'll come back to her later. All right, now I would like to welcome students of SK Sagamat Baru, Johor, Malaysia. Please welcome Madam Nauzilawati and her students. Evening to Madam Nirmala Devi, Madam Sonja Handelan de la Fos, Mr. Pramod Tube, educators, and my friends. I am Sari from SK Sagamat Baru, Johor, Malaysia. I would like to talk about my favorite activities during Human Happiness Project. I was enjoying doing activity activities on sound mind in sound body. I skip cycle and play netball at home and school. And I I spend my free time sharing this project with my classmates. Due to pandemic, I did all of my activities from home. 
The impacts of sun, sound mind and sound body are a healthy body keeps me well and active. A healthy, a healthy mind keeps me focused and engaged. Now, I would like to pass my school presentation to Tasnim. Thank you, Sari. My name is Tasnim Binti Nizan. I really enjoy during Happiness Paul's Global Connection. It is because I fly virtually to many countries around the world. I visited India, Palestine, Taiwan, Abu Dhabi, and Indonesia. I learned about their cultures, food, and festivals. Happiness Paul's Global Connection helped me become brave to present about my country. Besides, I learned about teamwork, where we support each other. Now, I know how to handle Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft PowerPoint, and become IT savvy. At the same time, I am proud to become Chinese ambassador for Malaysia. My English skills are improving now. For the next presentation, I would like to call my friend Nazira. Thank you, Tasnim. Hi, everyone. My name is Nazira. I would like to share with all of you about my favorite activity in Human Happiness Project. I love in origami seasons. I learned to make short and hard from Madam Kalyani Bhakti. After the seasons, I tried to make bread by myself. I felt so happy. Does origami make you happy? Yes, origami helps me to relax and make me happy, sharpen my memory and imagination, to channel creativity and art, and develop the ability to follow the instruction. That's all for me. Now I will pass to Kuyashi for her presentation. Thank you, Nazira. I'm Kuyashi Tiwagaran. I love doing the happiest moment activity. I believe there are many things that can make me happy. For example, I got new Blu-ray protection glasses for my parents. I also was happy when I bought an owl hand sanitizer and when my father gave me a compass which is kept for 11 years. Impacts. When I'm happy, I become positive, healthier, more successful, and I feel less stress. That's all from us. On behalf of my friends, I would like to thank Mr. Pramod for doing his amazing project. We really enjoy doing the activities. Mr. Pramod had changed our life to be happier. Thanks to Madam Sonia for your time with us. We are sad because tonight is the last session for this project, but happiness will always be with us. Thank you. Thank you so much, children. Oh my God, you are saying you are so sad. Of course, uh, everyone is sad. But the thing is, it is not the ending. As what Mr. Pramod said earlier, spread happiness. You know, uh, it is an ongoing project, actually. You can spread happiness anytime, you know. So keep spreading good things, you know. Uh, spread kindness to others and all. That. And uh, most importantly, be happy. And being second language learners, it is a challenge for the students to learn English language. So the teachers are making attempts to join many projects, especially human happiness uh, during this tough time in order to engage the learners. And I'm sure by looking at this beautiful, colorful presentation, all of you agree that they have done something great. The students have learned to use Flipgrid have learned to use Wakelet, have learned to use uh, Microsoft Forms. So many skills, ICT skills have improved among the educators as well as the students. Thank you for the wonderful presentation. Thank you so much. Okay, now I would like to call another educator, Priscilla Aleta Quake from Malaysia. Please welcome teacher Priscilla. 
Thank you, Madam Nirmala. Welcome. Uh, let me share my screen first. Okay. Hello, everyone. Warm greetings to our beautiful guest of honor, Miss Sonia, the sister, the sorry, the senior manager of educator programs, Microsoft, all the way from USA. Our handsome founder, director of um, Life Skills Studio, Mr. Pramod. My gorgeous and inspirational teacher, Madam Nirmala. To all the awesome facilitators and ambassadors and also to all the wonderful parents and students. Good evening, everyone. Human happiness. The title itself is unique and it does inspire us to emote ourselves and share our thoughts about human happiness in order to make us understand who we are and what is our, what is our role in making ourselves and other people happy. So I'd like to quickly introduce myself. I am teacher Priscilla from SK Pukak Tuaran Sabah, Malaysia. I am one of the English teacher in my school. And it is such an honor to be with you tonight together with five of my ambassadors. Now, let me introduce my ambassadors. There are five of them. They are Lex Alvirio Midik, Jordan Isaac Notre Dame Selimin, Lindra Lazarus, Net Leave Me Sharbi Jonar, and Shannon Hena Jimmy. All of my ambassadors actually are really work hard and able to manage their, their time wisely to complete all their tasks. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank their parents, which is uh, some of them are here for being so supportive. Thank you. Thank you to all the parents. Now, let me tell a few things about my school. This is my school, Sekolah Kebangsaan Pukak Tuaran. It is located in one of the many rural areas in Sabah. We have 17 teachers and about only 120 students. Our headmaster, Mr. Goromon, as in the picture here, this is our headmaster. He also asked me to send regards to everyone here tonight. Our school has won a lot of award in academic, for curriculum and sports too. We also excellent in science fair STEM in national level. Therefore, we are very grateful to be given this opportunity to be involved in this program, which is an international collaboration project called Humane Happiness. So now I'm going to share all the activities that we carried out during this project. First is knowing our happiness ambassadors. In this activity, all of the facilitators and ambassadors had to introduce themselves in a platform called Flipgrid and Wakelet. Here was our first time using Flipgrid and Wakelet, but it turns out very easy to use and very friendly user. We also can see and know a lot of new friends locally and globally in this activity. Next activity is the happiest moment of the day. This is one of the favorite activities for all of my ambassadors. One of the reasons was because they gave their real stories and really had their happy moment while doing this task. Some of them went to the beach, received ang pao from their relatives, which ang pao means, uh, ang pao is a red packet that contains uh, money, which is given by elders to the younger, especially during Chinese New Year. They also had a nice work morning workout with their mother learn to play music and also one of my ambassadors had shared his happiest moment which his grandmother told him about North Borneo history. He even shared her old coins collection in Flipgrid and Wicklet too. Yeah. 
Our next activity is Sound Mind in Sound Body. In this activity, we share our video in Flipgrid. Some of us did a yoga, morning jog, skipping, morning hike, and many more. After that, all the ambassadors shared their story about their mom too. They wrote a message for their mother in Wakelet. They also record a video for their mother in Flipgrid too. This was done during the International Women's Day. Here are some of the pictures I took from Flipgrid and Wakelet. The next task was about out of school children. In this activity, one of my ambassadors named Lex Alverio Midi had done his preparation during the student board discussion. We got a lot of very informative sharings from all of the ambassadors all over the world uh, during that night. And we also learned the importance of education to lead their happy life. Then the next task is the kindness week. This activity is also one of our students' favorite activity, which they feel that it's so nice to help people. They help their mom in the kitchen, help the family members in studies. They even shared out about their feelings after they helped those who needed help. They said they feel happy when they help and share their happiness with other people. Our next activity is about we support SDG 5 the gender equality. One of my students named Lindra Lazarus had also shared her presentation about gender equality during the student board discussion too. Other than that, my ambassadors also made a poster and shared about their thought in Flipgrid and Wakelet. They, uh, they, these are a few screenshots that I took from the Flipgrid and Wakelet. Other than that, all the ambassadors also had given a chance to analyze data in calculate our ecological footprints. We did a survey and two of my ambassadors, which is Shannon and Netlivni Sharbi, had also shared the presentation about calculating our, our ecological footprints. Oh, okay. From this task, we learned about the importance of loving our earth and we also had a nature awareness. Then our last activity was the happy heart. This is also one of our favorite activity because we get to learn origami on how to make a heart shape from a piece of paper. In this activity, all of the ambassadors wrote a message to their loved ones in their happy heart and gave it to the person they dedicated to. They really enjoyed the activity and they made a lot of very creative heart shape. I can see they really have their happy heart in this program. It's been about more than a month guiding my students in this project and the impact that we Hi, got daddy. that we got um, from, from human happiness, uh, human happiness activities have their own unique ways to make teachers and students' minds to be happy and enjoy all the tasks. We also understand about the concept of SDGs, boost positive thinking about gender equality that leads to human happiness. Other than that, students also understand life skills like critical thinking, problem solving, decision making, empathy can lead to the journey of happiness. It is also had increased e efficiency in promoting human happiness. Now, I would like to give my special thanks to all of all the guests of honor, especially to our very beautiful Miss Sonia, also to our handsome founder and director of Life Skills Studio, Mr. Pramod Tube for giving us this opportunity um, to be involved in this amazing program. And to Madam Nirmala, thanks for guiding us throughout this program and you are such an inspirational teacher for me. And uh, thank you, teacher Nirmala. And to Mr. Rahim, thanks for the helping and sharing about all the ideas. To teacher Debbie, I know she is not here uh, 
she's not around with us tonight, but I also would like to say thanks to her because she's the one who asked me to join this program. Not forgetting to all my colleagues and also my principal, Mr. Goromon, for always being so supportive through, throughout this project. And to all my ambassadors and their parents, thank you so much. You are all, you are all wonderful people. Last but not least, I would like to thank all the facilitators and ambassadors all around the world in spreading happiness. I have now come to the end of my presentation. Let's continue spreading love and kindness to others so that we can live in peace and harmony for a better world. Thank you so much, Teacher Priscilla, for the impressive, wonderful, beautiful presentation. We are so impressed with the slides, so beautiful, and the insight story that you have for all of us to summarize the whole thing about what we have been doing for the past three months in human happiness. I must tell one thing about Teacher Priscilla, Mr. Pramod. She joined in in our second phase of, uh, of the launching of this project. Uh, though she came in a month late, but she, she is such a dedicated teacher, she will continuously message and ask around in order to complete all the tasks with the amb ambassadors. And I'm so happy to hear that you are saying Flipgrid and Wakelet is so easy for you now. Uh, when we <laughs> reflect back, <laughs> initially so much of problems you were facing, but now I'm so happy to hear uh, such statement from you and uh, such a dedicated teacher you are, even though you are from uh, the school that, uh, that you are working is located in a rural school. So well done, teacher Priscilla. Such a Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Now let me welcome teacher Anna from Poland. Teacher Anna, are you ready? Yes, yes, I heard it. Okay, teacher. I would like to read it to you. Could you please uh, leave and rejoin? Oh, yeah. So, Mr. Pramo, then we continue with another presentation first. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, teacher Anna, she'll join back. Okay, now I would like to welcome uh, teacher Violeta Pane from North Macedonia. Teacher Violeta, are you here? Okay, you can proceed. Okay, hello to all again. Uh, let me share my presentation. I hope you, you can see it. Uh, greetings again to all dedicated uh, present people today. They're spreading happiness, facilitators, ambassadors, uh, Microsoft experts and uh, guests of owners, and especially to Mr. Pramod <clears throat> as an organizer. So I am uh, Violeta Panev. I come from Vladotasevsky School, North Macedonia. Well, I'm not going to talk about the activities because uh, the children have already uh, talked about them, but I'm going to talk about the research in value-based education, which uh, uh, motivated me to join this project because the thesis and research was that happy children are emotionally and socially skilled and can perform academically more successfully. So emotional intelligence, fortunately, can be learned and uh, is a tool for kids to manage their emotions successfully and to make the right decisions their life and both personal and for the others. So I'm going to talk about the science of happiness, which is the theoretical side of what we are doing, because the values is or are the core of the educational process, both from theoretical point of view and from the aspect of teaching practice. So the school itself assumes the function of acquisition of these values as, as a public institution, it produces the values of the wider community and society. So the acquisition of primary values in young people increases the possibility of development of other values as well and uh, forming holistically a complete person. So those goals, both whether value-based and cognitive, should be carefully chosen and realized 
to help people and pupils develop and nurture values such as honesty, integrity, justice, care, care, respect, and peace for the others in order to make them uh, be responsible citizens in the world. So from what I have here, the emotional areas, both from theoretical and practice we did, we can say that the first phase was acquiring personal competences and a second one, social competences, which is personal happiness and social happiness. So what we have learned is um, self-awareness and self-esteem kids uh, try to regulate their feelings and to self-motivate and also to make decisions about what they're going to do. They were dedicated, they gathered confidence, they knew about themselves and their feelings, they loved themselves and the others, can or could manage their emotions, they knew the reasons what to do and why they were going to achieve it. The second phase, which is uh, producing the, another circle around themselves is the social competence, which is uh, growing empathy and mindfulness towards the others, which are involving interpersonal and intrapersonal skills, also relationship and social skills. So they listened to each other, they knew uh, how the other students felt and what they needed. They tried to understand not only their mates, but parents and people around them and they wanted to help them trying to be friendly at the same time so it comes to some three models in positive psychology and one of it is dr martin seligman and he studies the human strengths the virtues that can complete to a fulfilling and meaningful life he talks about flower which is the book he uh, wrote and it is based on five columns, positive feeling, engagement, relationships, meanings, and accomplishment. And I can say that all these five columns were implemented in the project activities that we did. The kids had a positive perspective in what they were doing. They involved a state of flow, which is, was very pleasant activities they acquired also quality relationships, not only with the classmates, but with families and also with students uh, around the world. And at the same time, they find meaningfulness and significance in what they were doing. And so that they accomplished their task with positive emotions. So we can say that the deployment of highest character forces leads to more positive emotions and meaningful life and all this leads to a better relationships. So we can say and assume that this model teaches us how to make a happy life with a positive vision of the activities while working and learning. So the kids being happy in the activities while performing their task, they learned better. They became more engaged in what they were doing. So the teacher needs to know the students well enough to offer them activities to animate their curiosity and interest. We come to the flow. This is the moment of engagement. This is the moment of feeling happy. So um, the father of positive psychology would say it's a state in which people are so involved in an activity that nothing else seems to matter. The experience is so enjoyable that people will continue doing it, even at a great cost for the sheer sake of doing it. And that what happened with the kids doing these activities. So when we are involved, says Michal Chikson Mikhail, it's his name, uh, they are deeply engaged in the creativity. They feel and live more fully and fulfilling with than the rest of their life. Uh, so we can assume that it's a creative experience. It refers to high interesting motivation where self-consciousness fades, the personality completely surrenders to the present moment activity, and then time means nothing to us. So only, uh, almost all, uh, every one of, of us, any of us can improve this ability to experience these creative moments, both young and older. But there can be obstacles, of course. 
and the teacher and the parent need to solve that because otherwise they will lose or the kids will lose the opportunities for character development and for being happy. So these are the individuals with low concentrations. We know we face them, a lot of uh, some disorders and kids that need our help. It happens with egocentric individuals which are preoccupied with themselves uh, and are obsessed with their worries, fears, it, what happens nowadays with this COVID time. And that the way they are excluded from activities that relate to pleasure enjoyment. So this flow moment is escaped. So we should solve as parents, as teacher, the main inhibitors so that they can enjoy the social conditions and happiness. And the third one, which is uh, it's a kind of continuation of these two is the growth mindset of Carol Dweck. So she talks about the process of doing things. She talks about not the products, but the enjoyment of doing the activities and growing self-confidence. So the power of positive thinking gives children, teachers, mentors and parents power to change their mindset and improve the learning and academic performance. It focuses on improving the students' minds and developing their positive thoughts and abilities through dedication and hard work. Positive thinking gives all of them change their minds and become self-confident and uh -oh. improve learning outcomes. So what can we say? Emotional intelligence is social emotional competences and skills. It helps us maintain students' well-being and manage their emotions. It reduces stress levels and anxiety, which we need so much today. It helps us being successful in all areas when interacting with others. And students then are able to express silk skillfully what they feel and understand. Relations are improved, communication capacity and collaboration as well with others. It reinforces respect to the others and integrity of the person and empathy. So benefits are a lot. You can see them and among them critical thinking and problem solving as well when kids are making their decision making. So what I want to say that this project is of, is of a special importance for the students participant in terms of developing their not only language skills, not only digital skills, they uh, use so many applications, but also social emotional competences as well as communication skills, which are based on values and respect with, within multicultural online environment. Those, these activities are personalized and they involve their feelings. One of the factors to make them uh, do more successfully. So I would like to thank to my management staff, to the students without who as ambassadors, we could not realize such a beautiful and creative activities. They really enjoy them and we'll remember them because the feeling and the happiness of learning on the life skills with help of the life skills studio. When they feel happy, usually the kid learn about the world easier and in an enjoyable way. And of course, apart from the spiritual model and art of happiness that enhanced the founder, Mr. Pramod, to create it, the project itself is based on several, uh, as I told, psychology models I mentioned above and universal values, so important and implemented in SDGs in United Nations objectives. Universal values never fade and our basis for science of happiness for all times and people. Thank you a lot, Mr. Pramod, for giving the practical basis and for implementing them in our school activities. Thank you all. Thank you so much, teacher Violeta. Truly amazing presentation. Uh, I mean, you spoke about the personal happiness, collective happiness, 
positive feeling, engagement, relationships, and accomplishment, and most importantly, respect each other and the universal uh, values, which will never change. Thank you so much for bringing this information to our eyes, where this is, I would say, in the blueprint of uh, human happiness that Mr. Pramod has actually, actually promoting um, to us, and you have actually nailed it. Thank you so much, teacher, for this wonderful, great information. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, I would like to invite uh, teacher Anna from Poland. Teacher, are you ready? Teacher Anna? Yes, I hope I am ready. Yes, you <laughs> so are. Okay. I will share my uh, screen. All right, teacher. I think uh, teacher Violeta need to stop sharing. Okay, thank yes. you. The floor is... Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, my name is uh, Ania Leszczyńska. I am uh, from uh, Poland, uh, from um, school number eight in Gdynia. It is a Microsoft uh, showcase school. I am, uh, let me introduce myself. I am a Mia Fellow trainer a New Airport Certified Educator and a National Geographic Educator. And I teach, uh, as I said, in Gdynia, I teach uh, English. I would like uh, to show you my school. This is the school, of course, from uh, the times when uh, we could go there and uh, gather and do things together. <clears throat> because unfortunately, probably as in your schools, uh, we had to stay at home this time. Uh, I would like uh, to greet everybody who is here, all the educators, Mr. Pramot, thanks to him we, have the, uh, we had uh, this wonderful uh, project, and uh, Ms. Sonia who gave us such a nice uh, uh, lecture. And I would like to prove maybe uh, what uh, Violeta Panev said, because I will show you only some things which we uh, did together with my uh, students. And I will start uh, with uh, a happy world on Minecraft, which uh, students uh, did. And as you can see, they wrote that it, their goal was to build happy world without wars. And it was wonderful to uh, do it together with them because I divided them into teams and even if they stayed at home, I could hear that they were uh, doing all the tasks together and because they could uh, uh, communicate, uh, they were very happy while doing it. Uh, so they, uh, um, some of them knew Minecraft, but the others uh, discovered it. So the students who were aware how to do it, they showed other students, they learned them. So it was a wonderful a common uh, job, which we do, did uh, together. They thought about not only Minecraft, but about uh, how could uh, the happy world uh, look. So they thought about animals, about uh, environment, about happiness, about everything. And I must say that I discovered Minecraft uh, with them. Uh, I also, because our school is a school for uh, uh, primary school and a secondary school, so I did this project with uh, young students who were 12 and uh, the older students who were 16. So with older students, I uh, prepared more serious uh, uh, tasks. For example, they were thinking about uh, equality and uh, they investigated uh, the equality, how it differs in uh, different countries. They wrote some, uh, some essays and they also uh, recorded some uh, very nice uh, podcasts. And then they also prepared some uh, happy stories, uh, which were all recorded and uh, uploaded into the wakelet. 
Another uh, big task which we took part in was this uh, global goals issue. So uh, they, uh, thanks to it, they were more aware about the problems which are uh, all around the world. And they uh, like um, discovered which of these uh, goals are connected with environment and happiness and how to solve them. And uh, another thing, so I'm going back to my uh, smaller uh, students. So we wanted to create something uh, for all students uh, from other um, countries. So we decided to write a um, sentence, a happy sentence, a sentence in which they wrote about their feelings, which they have now, but also uh, some nice things uh, uh, which we hope will uh, be good in the future. So we wrote this sentence, we divided it into the parts and then um, uh, made uh, take uh, took photos and uh, made uh, the uh, co collage. So it's one of them, and this is the another class uh, with another sentence uh, for uh, students from all over the world. So they were very uh, excited uh, doing it, and they felt that they are doing something special, and they were very happy with the final results. Of course, uh, we took part uh, uh, in Mom's Day, uh, but uh, my students uh, mainly uh, drew uh, their moms and wrote stories. So we didn't upload it any photographs, but uh, their drawings. But uh, once again, we could uh, do the things together. Uh, we had fun and they were talking about uh, things uh, during the lessons. So it was like uh, in every of these tasks, it was uh, teamwork, which uh, uh, develop um, relationship and which is so uh, hard and neglected nowadays when we stay at our homes. So thanks to this project, my students could think about a lot of crucial problems uh, we face all around the world. Uh, we could be together in the hard times. We felt it that we are together because we were doing uh, common tasks. Uh, we did it uh, very often during the meetings and uh, together or in uh, rooms on teams. Uh, we, uh, they thought about and share happy thoughts and moments. They use their English to share their knowledge and they cooperate with students from other countries and they feel a part of a huge community of students now. And of course, many, many more um, things. And uh, the last uh, thing I'm showing is, of course, uh, of course, this heart of uh, happiness and the things we uh, wanted to say to other people. And I am showing it at the end because I want uh, you uh, to live with these hearts. And uh, once again, I want to say that it was a great honor to be part of this project. It was wonderful adventure and I have learned a lot and I'm sure my students also learned a lot and this project made them happier. So this is a very short uh, sh uh, presentation which I prepared. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, teacher Anna. Um, uh, we are so happy to hear the insights, uh, whatever you have shared from all the activities that you have done together with your students. And uh, learning uh, trial and error is a must in our career. So I'm very happy to hear that you are a learner together with your students and you brought us to the Minecraft world. It looks so exciting. And um, uh, for your information, just now we not, did not see any uh, screens. So we were just listening to you and uh, I'm not sure whether you have prepared any PPT. So, but whatever it is, uh, we have understood clearly your explanation for all the tasks. Uh, so uh, so excuse me, I, I didn't share anything? No, you didn't share anything. Oh my God. <laughs> so maybe I can show it 
very 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 fast very fast to for another session uh, but is it uh, now visible no ah uh, so i think that's uh, i don't know what is going on then okay i'm what very sorry for that I don't know in our wakelet is it what is it pramodji uh no it's not it's a ppt only uh, uh let me share uh, can you share uh, box? Okay, now it's loading. Okay, now it's loading. Yeah, we can see. Uh, so now we can see. Okay, so this uh, this uh, this is our school, <laughs> which I show uh, during the times of uh, not pandemic, and maybe I will not show all the slides because we are running of time probably but uh, this is this uh, minecraft world i was talking about uh, they were creating and it was a great fun uh, great great fun uh, for them to do it together they uh, spent time uh, and they were very very happy doing it and they spoke like uh, in the class so it was a possibility to uh, to share their feelings and make things together. And uh, this is this uh, photograph uh, we created with the sentence uh, uh, which we wanted to show to other uh, students uh, from all over, the, all over the world. So this is one class and uh, this is another. So they were very also happy and proud that they can do something like this. And yeah, I was talking about the drawings of uh, mothers, uh, which uh, they did. And also I told you that uh, I wanted <laughs> to show the hearts so they are here. I'm sorry that it didn't work uh, previously. So thank you once again very much. <laughs> thank you so much, Sicha Anna, for showing us some of the uh, some of your students' work. Definitely, uh, I would like you to uh, upload this beautiful presentation, the marvelous creation of your students in the in Human Happiness Wakelet main collection. So it will be helpful for the for most of us as a guide to guide our students as well. Thank you so much, Sicha Anna. Kudos to you. Thank you. <laughs> right. So you may stop sharing now, teacher. Yeah. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. So I'm going to hand over the session to uh, Swadiji. Over to you. Thank you, Nirmala, ma'am. So warm greetings to our very special guest of honor and all other guests and attendees. Having seen the wonderful presentation by our fascinating ambassadors and facilitators, it is now time for us to close session four, but certainly not before. Um, we are going to share with you the signature video of Happiness Unlimited. This is to remind ourselves and everyone else that the project may have come to an end, but the happiness we triggered off is to flow eternally. It is a dedication to our entire humane happiness family, the leader, the facilitators, the ambassadors, and everyone who has been in this journey with us directly and indirectly. So before I hand over to Nirmala ma'am uh, to uh, just um, share the video with us, may I please request everyone to use your headphones or earphones for a better effect. Thank you so much. Thank you Swadi ma'am. The spring of 2021 brought joys and colors fresh when Life Skills Studio started project Humane Happiness. Over 300 educators joined one young leader. They pledged to spread happiness with a band of ambassadors. Teachers, students, all alike, learned to count their blessings. They showed how happiness could be found in little everyday things. In a span of just a few weeks, 
there were wonders that they did, either making someone happy or helping those in need. They brought joy to one and all, playing good Samaritan role. In this way, they also kept up the UN Global Goals, themselves realized the need of sound body and sound mind, taught also people around them to be loving, caring and kind, celebrated the mother's spirit and equality of gender, paid tribute to all women for being both strong and tender. The amazing phase was yet to start with happiness pals connection. When borders, time zones melted down before a swelling passion. Facilitators and their teams worked around the clock by making pals across the globe. Together did they rock. Learnt about each other's culture, custom and traditions. The happiness ambassadors now became a sensation. Time then came to move on to the next phase of the mission. And we were to embark on some awesome training sessions. Began it all with mindfulness then brushed our wakelet skills, created happiness with Minecraft, origami was pure thrill. Young ambassadors then were called to share their presentations, came up they with awesome works, surveyed women in action. Soulful survey did they all on children out of school, shared their thoughtful solutions, brought forth some golden rule. Happy hearts of Kalyani ma'am were creating waves worldwide. Kids didn't just make paper hearts, their joy swelled like a tide. Happiness pal global connection soared by night and day. May these fun-filled friendships of them stay is all that we pray. The first of last phase was to be the week of acts all kind. Our ambassadors taught the world that heart must guide the mind. Ecological footprints then we all calculated. Students again showed the world how earth need be protected. But all that start will have to end. This project too must so. But the happiness it triggered off will continue to flow. And in this way peace will grow Conflicts will become less. Together let us salute once more. Mission Humane Happiness Thank you so much. This was a tribute on behalf of all facilitators and ambassadors of the Human Happiness Project to our dynamic committed and dedicated leader, Mr. Pramod Thubay. Thank you, sir, for creating this amazing platform, for taking us all through this amazing journey and teaching us once more to redefine happiness, to realize and understand what true happiness is all about. Thank you once again. Our heartfelt gratitude and regards.
Thank you so much, Swadi ma'am, for the wonderful signature video of our uh, human happiness. And kudos to you, Mr. Pramod, as well, for giving us this lovely project. Now, let me welcome our guest of honor, Ms. Sonia, to give a few words for all of us. Please welcome Ms. Sonia. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, trying to come off of mute. <laughs> yeah, let me start my video again. All right. All right, hang on. Hi, everyone. Um, I am so impressed by the work you all just did. It was really such a phenomenal way for me to start my Sunday morning here in Seattle. Um, and hearing from the students made it extra special. I think um, that's why we're all here. We're here for the students and we're here to help make the world a better place. And we put our hopes and our dreams into the students that we serve. And seeing how each one of them has done that has made such a big difference in this world. And it reminds me and grounds me on why we're all doing this. And so I just wanna thank each and every one of you for the incredible work you do, but keep going forward. Like they said again and again, this isn't over. Like happiness should be incorporated. And I think um, uh, Violeta's slides along with the slides I have, really read in that research. If you haven't read Carol Dweck's books, you absolutely should. Find ways, use her slides and my slides to help you weave into your regular day-to-day -day teaching uh, the things that will continue to drive that happiness that will ensure your students are also grounded and that they can reach for success and attain it. So thanks to all of you for such a fabulous day today. Um, I will be singing in my heart all day long today. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sonia, for joining in. Uh, actually, uh, uh, you are uh, like on a break uh, to have a rest but then still you join and I hope this will faster your recovery. Yes, it will for sure. And uh, thank you all the ambassadors, moderators uh, for joining in and for the hard work you are doing, uh, you are being doing for last three months. So thanks again, all of you, stay home, stay safe, bye-bye. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Sonia, for tuning in with us. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pramod Tube, the director, founder of LifeSky Studios. A special request to everyone, please turn on your cameras. We want to take photographs with our guest of honor and also all the educators. Please turn on your cameras, everyone. One, two, three, say cheese. Okay, <laughs> not many of you then on the cameras. Okay, Hi, one. Hard work. <laughs> the first slide done. Hang on a minute. Now going to the second slide. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, that's all. Thank you so much to all the educators, our guest of honor, Ms. Sonia, all the way from US, Mr. Pramod Tube and the ambassadors. Thank you so much until we meet you again in the fifth session, which should be starting in next 10 minutes, I guess. Am I correct, Mr. Pramod? Next 10 yes, minutes. Next okay. Time. We will next end the meeting. Uh, we will end the meeting to have a five minutes break. Okay, yes. and then we'll start it again. Thank you.